You begin to find. Okay. And there is another aspect called knocking. In this realm of knocking, it's not just tapping on the door. You knock. It means you're going to spend more time knocking. And that's what we are doing. Which, are, you know, the things that we are doing, I want you to enter into the same realm. Knocking is going into the holies of holies. Where you begin to intercede. You know, you begin to intercede. And God, because you are spending more time, God will begin to reveal. That's where revelation comes. God begins to open up. Open the deep things. The Bible says that deep call it unto deep. You begin to, God will begin to open up the deep things for you. Things that you know not. He said, ask me for things. Ask me. And I will show you things that you know not. Now, God will begin to open up mysteries. Open up things. Telling you even the things that you don't even ask. Because you have moved from the realm of asking. You are moving from the holies. You begin to seek. Now you, are, you begin to knock. He said, when you knock, when you knock, I always tell people, I said, when you knock at the door, the door will be open. He said, open heaven. The door will be open and you will enter into this door. And you begin to see the secret. There's always things kept for those. He said, the secret things belong to those who fear God. Those who will wait and intercede and spend time now when you begin to spend time it means that you are no longer praying you're not just longer praying give me you know like god give me i need a new house give me a house give me car give me a husband give me money give me give me give me god will begin to take you into the deeper things. There are things that you don't know about United States. He will begin to tell you about. It will move you from cities to countries to the world. Things that we begin to know about the world. It will begin to tell you things. Things. Deeper things about your life. Your family. Your children. Things you will know things ahead. Five years, God will play out ten years for you. He will play it out on the table. He will spread it because you have knocked and he opened. Now you will stop guessing. You will stop, you will stop pick and choose because it has been spread for you. Now, because you are knocking, you are knocking. He said, When you knock. When you enter into the holies of holies, there are treasures. There are things that you will find. Now you begin to make choices. Kabbalitolo. Rime telika. God is calling you from asking to knocking. You have been asking. You have been staying in the outer court every time God give me house. And God gave you that house and you are planning to run away from the house. Because you are confused right now. You don't know what is going to happen in the same house. God gave me a car. He gave you that car. You are planning to run away from the car. Because the car is driving you. You are not driving the car. The car is telling you what to do. You're spending more money than how much you buy the car. Sorry. There is something bigger, greater, deeper. And God is calling you onto that. 
I want it, I want to share it briefly for you to you so that you understand that when we begin to pray, we are not just praying because it is a ritual. We are making rituals every Monday evening. You come, turn on your phone, shut your mouth, you're not opening nothing, you're not saying, you're not praying. You turn on your phone, put it on top of the shelf, and you walk up and down and chat and talk. It is a time for you to intercede. Intercession is not given to everyone. God pick and choose. And you are one of those that God has chosen tonight. So that you will stand with him in the holies of holies. So that decisions will be made. Decisions will be made. Things will happen. God will share his heart. You know, there are times when you begin to communicate. You know, every time you see somebody and say, good morning, the person will never have time to tell you anything. When you come into his house, it's a different case. Or probably you meet him in a gas station and spend 10 minutes. He will begin to tell you things. And then when you stay for three days with the same person, there are things that you don't even know. You begin to know. When you live with that person, it's a different case. Probably you even know how the person sleep, snore, and use the snoring pattern to wake up everybody. Now you are knowing deeper. That's exactly what the Lord does. When you knock, he say knock, and it shall be open. Open. We are knocking down every door that has blocked you for many years. Tonight, we shall knock. Whether you want to use your hand or use your leg or borrow some mighty boot to knock down the door, it is knock. Knock it down so that it will be open for you. There are issues in your life that is mysterious that is confusing that you don't know when you begin to knock when you begin to knock is a different case and that's what the lord is telling us tonight that it's a knocking time stop asking stop just seeking but begin to knock in the name of jesus christ i want you wherever you are you are going to ask god tonight lord Equip me, energize me. It takes energy. It takes patience. He said that he that believeth shall not make haste. He that believeth, he that believeth shall not make haste. You shall not be hesitant. Hesitant. You shall not make haste. In gipana ropele dutia. Romali can do a vetini kitaya. Ropele ke tenusa. I want you to open your mouth wherever you are. Do not pray as usual. Don't keep your phone and walk up and down. It is time for you to use your mouth and structure the day and structure your life. It is time for you to deliver yourself. Through the knocking pattern, through the knocking realm, open you say when you knock, it shall be open unto you. I want you to open your mouth and begin to ask God, Lord, give me the strength to knock because. The miracle is in the knocking. I want you to open your mouth right now. Say, Lord, equip me. Energize me. I've been asking like a baby. I want to ask. I want to intercede. 
I want to stay in the power. Ha! I want you to understand. There is power of God and there is power with God. The power with God. That is where we are approaching. The power of God, it comes on you. But God wants you to have power with him. Edeneke ikolozata. Jeme intekina. Rolebrana esazitinita. I want you to open your mouth right now. Begin to intercede. Begin to pray. Begin to demand. Oh Lord, power with you. Oh Lord, endow me with the power to knock. Yes, power to knock. Power to knock. Power to knock. That my heavens will be open. Edana loko jandi maka. Rule breneketo. The heavens will open over my family. The heavens will open over my head. Let the heavens bend down tonight. He said, when I knock, it shall be open. I want you to open your mouth. That mystery, that confusing state. I want you to open your mouth because there is a direction right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Demand from God. The power with God. The power to knock. He say he that believeth. He that believeth. Shall not make haste. Yes. Yes. Open your mouth and pray. Blessed is she that believeth. Yes. Because there shall be a performance to those things that she believed on. I want you to open your mouth. Begin to ask God. Power with God. Lord, endow me with strength to knock. And with energy to knock. A spiritual strength to knock. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And that I may enter into the holies of holies. Yandene malakuru zate rulo brenekendu nasota. I want you to open your mouth tonight. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Declare it. Declare it. Yes. Yes, Lord. The strength. The energy to pray. Gafanite Rolodon Akedo Roshana Batiki Zumberi Eklo Saniba Rapato Notoya Riteke do Sandi Nikia Rulun Renekensen Toy Jalo Penekuta On Trenaiga Lord Strength to knock Power with God Elsenable Let me excel to the rain. Of power with God. Gafeneto. Brahmaliko. Zunde Ifani Kotaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Madani Corono Luda. Yele Branon Telebo. Retoba Kutsai. Aderane Sanubian told. Derani Snake. Asibanu Tabai, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 There are five persons under the sound of my voice. There are five persons under the sound of my voice tonight whom the enemy has gathered to launch an attack against you for no reason 
in your office, your gathering, in your family, they are gathering against you. We're going to pray, but I want us to read the scripture. I want us to read the scripture. The Holy Spirit is asking me to read it for you. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. The Bible says, In verse 11. From verse 9, sorry. Luke 6 from verse 9 said, Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil? To save life or to destroy it? Looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored, whole as the other. And they were filled with madness, and commanded one with another, communed one with another, what they might do to Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. And it was day he called unto him his disciples and of them he chose twelve whom he named Apostle, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we are praying, he said they gathered against you for no reason. They are mad, communed with one another. It means that they are conspiring. There is a conspiracy against you. There's a conspiracy. But there's only one way to destroy every conspiracy against your life, against your family, against where you are. Because the enemy knows that if they push you out of that job, you will be frustrated. So he wants to do that. But see what God is telling you tonight? All night. He said, and Jesus went to the mountain. They went to conspire. Jesus went to the mountain. He prayed all night. All night prayer. Scattered every communication of the devil. Every communion of the evil. Against your life. Against your family. Tonight is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to raise your voice wherever you may be. Begin to demand that conspiracy, conspirators, those who are taking counsel against me, against my family, against my ministry, against my position in the office, Ataina, Ataina, Jetolobono, Egriano Lobo Segdia, Rolle bana in te tona tiako. Rolla ba ten te no sobani. He said, and Jesus went to the mountain and he prayed all night. <laughs> all night prayer. I want you to open your mouth tonight and begin to scatter. Say, I confuse the enemy. I put confusion in the midst of every conspirators, every confederacy against me, against my life, against my family, against my sons, against my daughters, 
I scatter them upon this mountain. I scatter them right now. I scatter them. Their conspiracy shall not stand. He said, let them gather together. In the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 10, he said, let them gather together. And they shall be scattered in pieces. He said, let them speak a word. It shall not come to pass. Every word by the evil one, every evil word spoken against you, every gathering that they have been taking place against you right now is being scattered. Yes, because it is not of God, it will scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ, every conspiracy in your office, in your office, is scattered tonight. It is scattered tonight. It is scattered tonight. Yes, there is somebody that they want to transfer you. There's a transfer going on. They want to move you to another location. And that location is not good. They conspire to do that. But right now, it's going to be scattered. Just raise your right hand. Say, I'm scattering their plan. <laughs> their plan is like a chaff before the wind. A tina. A tina. Every plan, no matter how concrete it is, is scattered tonight. Let the plan become a chaff. Ha. I command you every plan against this daughter of Zion is like a chaff tonight. I command that, that plan be carried by the wind of heaven. Let the northern wind, let the southern wind let them come together like a mighty cyclone and begin to whip every plan. Begin to whip every plan. Begin to scatter every plan made against you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I scatter every evil plan. It shall not come to pass. It shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. It shall not stand. The grant of Lebando Sabah. Rally Babados in Tebragados. Ye deli Babobo Shantiba Nukal. Yes, Lord. Yes. In Tabeno Sea. Damian do Lobo Kuntaiba. Yes, we scatter them. In the name of Jesus. We scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want you to raise your hand. There are five persons here who need to pray for their son. You need to pray. You need to pray right now. Five persons. Your son has a court case that is being reviewed. Yes, you are going to stand and begin to decree and declare right now to scatter every concrete plan and three of you there is a court case waiting for you the second week of November but it is time for you to scatter that plan you're going to stand up get fanato rale bonobo Zateneke Jemali Kongiapo. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to let you know if you don't pray, that plan will stand. But right now, if you open your mouth, as we have commanded that the northern wind should join with the southern wind, and let there be a mighty cyclone. Ha. Let there be mighty wind. No matter how hard that plan has been, 
they will scatter tonight. I want to share with you. A lady was walking somewhere. And she didn't know. That the firm that she was walking with. Was dubious. So they used her to do so many things. Which she later confessed that some of them. He knew, she knew later, but not at the beginning. They didn't tell her the kind of grievous offense they were committing. Crime. And when it is time for everybody to get in trouble, she also was in trouble. And when she called, we begin to pray. I say, command that case to be scattered. Your name should be wiped out. He said, the, the righteous cannot be judged together with the wicked. And we begin to pray this prayer. This particular prayer, the cyclone from the northern wind and the southern wind, let there be commotion. Let the, let the power, let the, let, the, let the window of heaven open up the wind from the north, south, coming together, scattering every plan. When we finished praying, the case was called out. He said, go home. She was going to be jailed. They said, submit yourself. So, 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 death. The judgment has been set. Come and give yourself so you will go to jail. But the Lord scattered it. Tonight, I want you to draw the same by the power in the name of Jesus. The court case set up to jail your son. Is scattered tonight. Rise up. Let the wind from the north, the wind from the south, move, begin to scatter. Every plan set against your son, against your family. Tonight, it is scattered. It is scattered. It is scattered by the mercies of God. By the mercy, it is of God that showeth mercy. By the mercies of God, I don't care what has happened, what he has committed. Tonight is another chance. God is demonstrating his power. That case is scattered. My coronatiaco, belente kuramba shaleba, ratenebo sokoromatikai. I scatter it from this realm. It's scattered. That is scattered. I command by the wind of heaven. Yes, let it join with the salt. Let it begin to scatter. Every plan, every concrete plan is removed from its foundation. It's scattered tonight. Nata kulobokosa. Retake it all over. My Torobo Kosai. Retake on Shalibaba. Rapot on it, Taiba. I scatter it. It shall no more stand. It shall no more stand. It shall no more stand. Of the kind of Moropoto. We blast it with the northern wind. With the southern wind. Join together by the Kurunda Ligabas. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray. We are still praying. There are six persons. That God wants to show 
miracle on your life. Miracle. Amen. You have done so many things that failed. Because there is a yoke upon you. Yoke. When I say yoke, you are yoking with the wrong person. The business you started was with the wrong person. So it failed. The person you are moving with, there's an aura of failure that goes with her and has affected you so badly. But tonight, the northern wind, the southern wind is scattering every failure, every past failures. Every, there's one person listening to me right now Listen to me. There's one person listening to me from Maryland. You are listening to me now. You have tried everything. It's like your ministry is failing. Your ministry is failing. It's not moving the way you're supposed to. The way it's supposed to move. It's failing. You are getting tired. But there's something God is about to do right now. And that thing is that you need to stand up. Pray this prayer. The northern wind, the southern wind shall blow out every failure, every files of failure that have followed you for 10 years. Today. It shall be wiped away. There shall be a clean slate. And God will begin to write. With his own hand. Promotion. 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 And multiplication. Upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth right now. Begin to decree that every files of failure be carried by the northern and southern wind. Joining together, let there be a tornado, cyclone, erupting every concrete plan of failure in my ministry and my family. Uproot them right now. In my marriage. Uproot it. There are three persons. Pray. In your marriage. There is. A file. Of failure. That marriage. Has not lasted. More than. 72 months. And is already failing. I want you to pray this prayer. Da kono vateiga, jamteima baluto, that the northern wind and the southern wind shall come together and carry every failure, every fire of failure set in your marriage. Clear it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it carry them, blow them away. Masanaba, Sekuru Natia, Jende Malutobo, Grema Tulagias Antono, Verutena Tutuzianta, Engle Legade, Engle Legade, Rono Manikiak no Segdabano. Ramanek in Kolo Jandin Din and Tolobo Robodo Saike In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. 
We give you praise. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. Just open your mouth and begin to give God the glory. Hmm. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. I wanted to just give God the glory. Worship Him. Thank Him. Thank Him for today. Thank Him for what He has done. Thank you, Lord. Thank him for great miracle. Thank him because he has done it again. Oh, yes, Lord. Give him glory. 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 Beta Rubo Santaibaka. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give him praise. Continue to worship him. Continue to worship him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is somebody here that the Lord is giving a healing miracle. Healing, 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 healing miracle, healing miracle. Your belly has been troubling you for the past few weeks. And God said, I'm stretching forth my hand unto that belly right now. Receive your healing. Just receive your healing. Raise your right hand and receive your healing right now. Raise your right hand. Thank you, Father. Now there are three persons. There are three persons with pain on your shoulder. You can't lift up that hand. And God is saying that I've healed you. Raise that hand up and give him glory. Just raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Those who have that pain on the shoulder that you can't lift it up. The Lord said, I've healed you. I have healed you. Just raise it. Raise it and wave unto God. Just bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. There are four persons. There are four persons who is having migraine. 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 Headache. Migraine. 
God is giving you healing. Healing right now. Healing right now. Just, just, just open your mouth and begin to say hallelujah. Because that healing is upon you. That healing is upon you. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord for healing your daughter. For healing. For healing. Just stand up. There's somebody who has been having a very severe pain at the back. Back, your spine, around your spine. And God is healing you now. I can feel that anointing is so heavy. It's coming upon you. The healing power of God upon you, upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Arresting every pain towards your back. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. E pana korobos. Lagabos te vinima taki. Rabades. Tenanko rabadi kantuniba. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be pranakata, rimo mo santo lobobo. Ripo to lobobo, sakikaba. Ribo to lobro no kosendi bakatai. Rima mama kante grumanos. Yalaba baba bai korima sandeli bakatai. Holy Spirit. We thank you. There is somebody else. This person has a very big decision to make. Yes, the decision involves you. You have been confused. You don't know which state to move. Within a space of one year, you have lived in three places. Space of a year and a half. You have lived in three places. Right now, right now, you are planning to move to Atlanta. I want you to listen. The Lord is saying that where you are right now, He said, stay there until I speak. You're going to be there. Because there's something God is about to do from where you are right now. He said, stop running. He said, don't. Because I'm a, about to do a new thing in your life. Stay calm where you are. Stay calm. He said, blessed is she that believed. And there shall be a performance. Kazini Tolobo. In the precious name of Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you thanks for what you have done and what you're doing. I want you to just raise your hand, wherever you may be, and begin to wave unto God. Say, God, there is no one like you who doeth wonders. There are three persons that God is asking you to raise your right hand. He said, touch oil. Three of you, because of the mercies of God, wants to deliver you tonight. You went to a place where you supposed not to. Somebody took you somewhere and tell you, come to this lady because it's a prayer place. 
and you went and connected with the marine spirits. Marine spirits. And from the time you came back from that place, you have suffered three different loss. Number one, you lost your job. Two, you're about to lose your house. Three, you become sick. You don't even know what's happening to you. There's a deliverance right now. Out of his mercies, stretch forth your hand. And he said, do not go back. Stay with me. And I will help you. You even go there. And pay some money. Just raise your hand. Raise your hand. Touch that oil. Wipe your face. Touch oil. Any kind of oil in your house right now. Will represent the power of God. As you are wiping your face. Every reproach that was attracted by your visitation to that place will be wiped out. And you shall be free in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this great deliverance. I give you glory for what you've done tonight. Be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Just begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to give God glory. Begin to say, God, I thank you for what you've done. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Let the church shout hallelujah. Let the church shout amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you. I'll talk to you on Wednesday. God bless you. Bye-bye.